what's up everyone randy gbh and i'm back this time a new diorama from josh aka kraken's customs and as you know if you watch my previous diorama showcase videos he does a lot of my dioramas so this is a under construction storefront which he did something really cool on the side and yeah let's check it out guys Alrighty, so let's talk about the outside before I get into the inside. Uh, he actually went all out. When I ordered my diorama from him, I just wanted like the inside. I wanted that under construction look. But he actually went all out and gave me the roof, the painted two walls right here, the front side and this left side. And he actually even painted my logo which is super super awesome and that was like a surprise he didn't tell me until like the last second before he shipped it so that was super legit of him and not only that he actually did the brickwork and the painting one by one and added the grout so i just want to commend him with the amount of detail he put into something that i didn't even ask for he just did it himself so that was super super cool thank you so much josh for that i'm super happy with how it turned out and like you see here this is like a glass um, door with the windows and it's just so legit it looks really nice i can't wait to do like a whole like city scene so these two sides are painted the roof is painted on the back side and the right side is just black let me show you that real quick it's just this so i don't really mind because that's how i thought it was originally going to be but yeah i got painted walls this nice storefront area and the roofing so let's check out the inside all right for the inside this is the front facing wall on um, the storefront so as you can see in the back side uh i think that's called dry rock or sheet rock and plaster and down here those are magnets on those bricks so i can put them right here go right into place so as you can see right there and this part is the ceiling so it looks like electrical and then like air ducts so if i go like this you see it like that so awesome detailed work on there and let's show off the goodies in here. All right, let's see a bare bones, no accessories. Uh, I will talk about the accessories he included. Some of them he did send me along with the diorama. But as far as the dial itself, this is the right side wall, more drywall, sheetrock, plaster. I'm sorry to the guys who work in construction. I don't know what they're called exactly. Um, this over here actually has a broken wall. As you can see, they're doing like plumbing work or electrical with a wooden beam right there. And as far as these bricks on the bottom go, uh, those hide the magnets that hold up the walls. So if I would lift this up, you can see the magnet right there and right here. And it just goes back into place. So it just stays up easily. This back side wall has more of that sheetrock, plaster, and a window. So each wall is different, has different things going on with it. Like this left side wall has this door really nice detail and um that um brick does have a magnet under it so they all held up by magnets and the flooring itself you can see that's dirty with that uh plaster it's not clean it's not finished yet but cement flooring so really really nice detail with this i really do love the look of this diorama it's simple paintwork but it looks so nice in photos that you know it's awesome especially with the difference in walls the door, the window, and that broken wall right here. So super cool. Accessories that he sent me. Let's get little bloody John Wick out of here. Thank you, Alfonso Customs, for that custom paintwork. As you can see right there, he's all beaten. But anyways, accessories. Uh, he sent me this trash can. There's plaster on it. You can see inside too. These little baggies of basura, trash. And these are super easy to make, but it's really nice that he threw it in for free. Like, this wasn't part of the deal. He just did it himself to be nice. So, thank you, Josh, again. Uh, more basura. Look at that. He made this wooden pallet for me, too. It looks better than mine. I do have a tutorial on how to make them, but I use popsicle sticks because that's what I had. And I like using what I have on hand. So, I just put that together and these like little wooden rods so i could just throw in the scene and do something with it and as you can see that's a scene right there um 
And to add more flair, I can add these crates that I got from Anything is Posable. Um, beautiful woodwork from Pink Insulation Foam that he did. Uh, he's in a past diorama showcase video, so if you want to check that out, it's in the playlist. And, and yeah. there it is, the under construction storefront diorama by Josh, aka Kraken's Customs. I will link him down below so you can check him out and maybe you'll get a commission done. He does fantastic work. He does it timely. Uh, he doesn't BS around. He'll make you a diorama you will love. And I will also uh, say that he does go beyond what he's meant to do. Like I said, he did the front side of the store. He added the custom mural on the left side as you can see and yeah it's just fantastic work and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys hit him up or just follow him and i will see you guys in the next video bye